Hey Aquarius, what's going on? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome. All right, we're starting off with the Two of Wands. This is a moment of figuring something out here. Maybe deciding on something. I am hearing plan. Seeing the Hierophant. And the Fool. I get the vibe of you trying to like tap in and connect and see where you're being called. The Hierophant can be like in a bigger purpose way. It's not like, the Hierophant isn't like, what outfit am I being called to wear today? The Hierophant is like bigger stuff. Like, like where am I being called within my life? Hierophant can be a calling, but to have the fool here there may be like a leap of faith that needs to be taken. But you would sort of already feel drawn in this direction. Like you would know that this thing resonates with you. This calling is resonating with you. But there may be a risk involved to have the fool. Or maybe something... Unknown, unfamiliar... When the fool calls you, it's kind of like, I always take this way home and the fool is like, let's try that back road over there, like this sort of thing. And you may really like it, but you may also not like it. And that's sort of the, the risk that you take. It's like, maybe that's gonna be your new favorite way that you drive home, but maybe you're gonna go that way and be like, I'll never go down that road ever again. That's sort of like the, the lottery of it all. Because what if it is your favorite road that you find? So you're in a little bit of a transition. Starting with two of wands. A where do I go next moment? Where do I take this? Or even where do I feel like my spirit is being taken? And how do I follow? fool which is connected with Uranus that's connected with our like divine energy our divine intuition so these moments where we receive something and it's like I think that's the message okay so this thing that you would potentially be getting into here Okay, the Hierophant, I, I feel like I just broke all of this down like in a very recent reading. The Hierophant can be, I'm gonna study this language. It can be, I'm gonna become a musician. It can be, I'm gonna be a teacher. It can be, I'm going back to school. It can be like, I'm applying to school. It can be, um, I'm gonna travel to this country. It can be, I'm gonna immer immerse myself in that culture. It can be, I'm gonna like, explore this new religion i'm going to explore this spirituality i'm going to study this it's about something bigger that will impact you um on like a higher level because the hierophant is sort of like your higher connection with things and your beliefs and your spirituality and your philosophies and how you move through life and yeah what you believe in But this Hierophant is feeling like, like a bigger part of your purpose, which may be something that you step into, but there you can be feeling like a spiritual obligation to something. 
like I feel like I'm supposed to be helping in this way or I feel like I'm supposed to be playing this role. What I'm seeing though is that with the fool, this would be something that is like uncharted waters, unfamiliar territory. And I'm also seeing temperance, which is saying like, you don't need to jump into the deep end. You can wade into this. So it does look like something big that would be a commitment. But it's something that you don't need to, again, like jump into the deep end. You can wade in. If you do this, there may be something else that you're leaving behind though. Yeah, how this Hierophant is coming across, I feel like it's wisdom that you're looking for to be like, well, like, what am I being told? I'm trying to understand this. Like, where am I being guided? Because on the Hierophant card, you see the Hierophant and you see these two people below and it sound, it looks like they're like listening to the guidance of the Hierophant. And so I feel like there's a plan that you're making and you're trying to tune in and be like, what are the directions? And it's like a very, very quiet murmur. And you're like, I need everything to be silent so I can really hear this. And I'm seeing it be like, like, go here. I'm seeing you start to get the directions but it's saying that if you go that way, it will be a little bit risky, but you don't have to go all in immediately. You can make it be like a slower transition. So even though it's a leap of faith, I'm not seeing it be like the biggest leap you've ever taken. It's definitely a leap. Need to validate that. Definitely a leap, but it's not the biggest leap you've ever taken. Like it doesn't need to be like, I'm here and then I'm there. I feel like there's going to be a little bit more of a gradient with the transition. But then it's going to, but then it's going to be a very big transition. So it starts off as something, I feel like your guides don't want to scare you away and have you run in the opposite direction. And that's why they're posing it to you like this. Like, don't want you to get overwhelmed. Some of you, this is about taking on a teaching position or a mentoring position. Well, Wellington. Ten of Swords and the Star. So we do have Aquarius popping out here. It looks like as you're moving through this, you're also dealing with something like a painful cycle. So right now you may be going through an ending. This doesn't feel like it's, like you're not expecting this and it comes out of nowhere. This feels like something you're currently dealing with, but it's not something that's open and closed. This is something where it's like taking time for this transition sort of to be happening. You also don't need to plan things immediately. I'm seeing your guide say, take your time license the word license is coming through some of you some of you um some of you it could be a marriage that's ending hierophant and ten of swords sorry i'm like i'm moving the cards around but like not physically i'm just seeing what's sort of going with what hierophant and ten of swords hierophant can be a commitment ten of swords ending can be a relationship that's ending can be a contract that's ending can be a housing situation that's ending there can be lots of different things. It can be leaving a community, Hierophant and Ten of Swords. It can be leaving an identity even. 
something changing demographically. But I'm seeing there be a very, very strong call. So this thing is closing out. And I'm seeing the fool be like, hey, that's over. Pay attention to me over here. And I'm seeing the star be connected with this. So this is where you're like continuing with something rather than stagnating. I feel like maybe you've spent enough time with this Ten of Swords or that you will be spending enough time with the Ten of Swords, which is the ending. And the fool's like, hey, now it's time to pay attention to me. Let's go exploring. And I'm seeing the star. So this feels like maybe rediscovering your purpose. And I do keep seeing the Eight of Cups. So it feels like there's going to be a choice because we're starting with a two choice. A choice about like maybe whether you go or whether you stay. Chariot, some of you guys may be moving. Or there can be some form of movement. It doesn't need to be literal. It can be like metaphorically moving. Or even a situation getting moving. I'm seeing Taurus, Uranus, Sagittarius, Aquarius. The star and the eight of pentacles. I feel like you're continuing to pursue maybe like a dream or something of yours. And it looks as well. When I say dream, I just mean sort of like the life that you have envisioned for yourself and what you feel like you're meant to be doing with that in this context. Having star and having eight of pentacles is also, especially next to the ten of swords, ten of swords is like, I know you're going through something hard right now. Star is like, but keep your head up, keep the faith, and be hopeful, like maintain your optimism and your hope as you're moving through this. Star is also about healing from this ending. And then I'm seeing this be connected with eight of pentacles, which seems like the work that you've been doing. You know, this is reminding me of... Um, was it the most recent Aquarius reading? It had to be within the last couple days where like something was closing out or somebody was starting something because I remember seeing all of those aces and then there was the eight of pentacles. So it seemed like even though somebody was starting something new, eight of pentacles was like, you're still sort of going to be working on what you've been working on, but maybe in a different way or like all the work that you've done before, it's going to be relevant for this chapter too. It's like giving me that that sort of sentiment here with this. So it, it feels like not giving up, but continuing sort of to show up. A plan is being worked on, but I'm seeing it sort of happen very slowly, very gradually. I'm also seeing Hierophant, Ten of Swords, Queen of... Hmm. Hierophant, Ten of Swords, High Priestess. This can be like I'm going to disassociate myself from this. So it can be like a community, a religion, like something that you were like committed to or belong to before. And then there can be an ending with that. So it can be like, I'm not going to be part of this community anymore, or I'm not going to be part of this religion anymore. Or, I'm not going to, it's like something that one may have belonged to or identified with. Again, like a marriage can be part of this too. It's anything that's in the realm of the Hierophant. And then I'm seeing an ending, but then I'm seeing the High Priestess. So this is like discovering your own. 
So it's like, I'm not religious like that. I'm, I'm spiritual like this. It can be something, something along those lines of like, with the Hierophant, it's more like rules and regulations and traditions. And like, this is how we do things here. And you're part of this community, like that sort of thing. And then to have there be this ending, and it can be something that you feel sort of boxed in by as well. It can be like superstitions, traditions, it doesn't have to be spirituality. That's just one of the ways it can manifest. But then to have an ending and to have the high priestess come out after, it feels like I was always told I was supposed to be doing this, but I feel intuitively I'm meant to be doing this other thing. And also too, Hierophant and High Priestess are counterparts. So some of you can be going through a breakup right now as well of sorts. But you can feel like this, this breaking apart that's happening, whether this be you with you that you're sort of like breaking up from or it be you with another person, it's like this is happening so one can sort of establish themselves elsewhere. So there can be like a development and a growth maybe in an area in somebody's life where there was a sense of stagnation, Hierophant, with the Taurian energy. Some of you, there's something that you're working on, but it's like a secret. Like it's a plan that you're making or it's something that you've been tending to or something that you've been doing, working on, showing up for. But to have the high priestess here, this may be your private thing. And for some of you too, I'm seeing that you're making plans to like move somewhere or to do something or like make a move like go from here to here and i'm seeing that also be something that you're keeping to yourself as well it's like it's like not telling not telling anybody what you're up to here like privately working on something not for the sake of of secrecy of not for any superficial reason it's more so like you just minding your business and doing this thing over here and it may not be anybody else's business what you're doing you may have specific reasons too for keeping this to yourself as well what i was meaning is that you're not keeping this to yourself arbitrarily that's what i was meaning sessions high priestess and the three of pentacles moving to a better place i am seeing there be sort of a i'm hearing clinging i'm seeing there be an interaction that's happening but i'm also getting there be a choice of like does this actually make me happy or will this make me happy and that's sort of the question here and it seems like that may not have been like fully or completely decided upon is what it looks like and it's like well, where do i want to go now what do i want to be doing now hanged man and justice That can mean that like a resolution is not gonna be immediate. It's going to come, but it's not gonna be immediate. Don't get distracted by shiny things. I'm seeing something come up where it's like, there are different reasons that could motivate this choice and you wanna be aware of what's motivating you here. Cause some of you, if, if you make a choice and you're materially motivated, that's, like the type of situation you're going to be getting yourself into so it's something to be aware of because i was seeing the devil and the nine of cups 
And so this can mean like rather going, rather than going for the thing that's actually gonna be fulfilling, like getting very distracted and going for something shiny. And then you're like, this has no substance. It's like something that was wrapped in gold. And when you unwrap it, it's not gold on the inside. So it's something to be aware of when you're making choices. I'm seeing that just be a, like a cautionary thing of be mindful how you're moving through this. Some of you too, you just feel like a lot of pressure emotionally as well. And I'm seeing you try to like sort out your intention here. But I get like the process of manifesting and even like waiting or maybe things not being immediate could be getting to you a little bit. Yeah, like feeling stressed out about future stuff is what I'm seeing. And sort of like how you're going to fare is what it's looking like to me. But I'm seeing that there is going to be movement. I'm seeing you also be anxious about the movement and about the Ten of Pentacles. Family stuff, money stuff, um, financial stuff. Yeah. I'm seeing some of you are just like really getting lost in your head as well. Yeah. Some of you, you're feeling overwhelmed at work or overwhelmed financially or overwhelmed with all of your responsibilities that you have because you feel like you sort of have to be the one to like step up and we can say like perform on stage, but it's just the beginning of the magic trick right now and it's going to take a minute sort of to happen and you're like figuring out how to do that, but... I am seeing the nine of pentacles, so lots of nines. I feel you're getting close to a cycle closing out. Your guides are telling you to focus ahead on sort of like what it is that you're starting while still being present with what you're doing right now and to do the thing that feels most empowering to you even if you're terrified that that's really the way to go. Also, too, some of you are processing something that you feel, like, sad about. Something like this. Like, something heavy. Something you feel disappointed by. Something you feel sad about. Like, those types of feelings. Like, very blue. That's also happening, too, right now, is what I'm seeing. I'm getting that, like, what's going to make you happy, ultimately, is having the intention to sort of like manifest reciprocity, whatever area this is of your life. I keep seeing like a lot of things that are that are connected with that. So maybe you feel too like what it was that you had been doing before, maybe there it lacked a sense of reciprocity and now you're actively like, that is my intention. Like wherever I'm going in my life and maybe multiple areas of your life, you're like reciprocity is the thing. I don't just want to feel like I'm taking. I don't just want to feel like I'm giving. I want to have those types of exchanges that feel like like it's not depleting me. So I'm seeing a plan. I'm seeing this plan has been being worked on. I'm seeing the Hierophant and I'm seeing the High Priestess. So this is like bringing those two energies together, your masculine and your feminine, especially your intuitive energy. And I'm hearing your system of belief. So this is like, I'm honoring my beliefs in a traditional way and I'm honoring myself in an intuitive way. Hierophant, high priestess, masculine, feminine counterparts. And it's about like higher wisdom and things that are beyond 3D. And then I'm seeing the fool. So this is like feeling guided here to take a leap of faith. And then six of swords is to move somewhere. So I'm seeing you be given like a direction here. So you may be like finalizing a plan that's being made. It's like there are decisions that are happening and there's a plan that you've been working on, but it's not, it's not completely finished yet, but it's very soon to be finished. I'm seeing you like, 82, 83% of the way done with this, okay? So it's very close to being finished.
I do feel like there's a sense of you honoring yourself as you move through this and that being important, like to not leave anything out, but to sort of honor everything. I know that sounds a little bit like maybe indirect or abstract, but it's it's kind of like when when you have certain things that are important to you and like sometimes we minimize them or it's like we shrug them off and then later on down the line it's like that was important to me and I wish I would have considered that or I wish I would have made that part of my plan or that had been part of the decision that I was making. It's like these things, I'm seeing it needs to be honored and considered, okay? in this thing that you're doing. So taking a leap of faith, moving forward with things, so we're continuing to move, then I'm seeing I'm seeing temperance and I'm seeing three of pentacles. So it feels right now like you're working something out with somebody. And right now it really may be testing your patience to have temperance and to have three of pentacles. This is like, I'm showing up, but this is not necessarily an easy thing for me. And there are a lot of adjustments that I need to make. And it's also testing my patience as well. But then I'm seeing 10 of swords. So I am seeing that like there's potential for this thing to actually come to an end. Like even though you're being temperance within the collaboration, I am seeing 10 of swords. So it's like, and I'm seeing two of swords. So you, it seems like have the decision whether or not you want to continue this. Like, do you want to continue this? Do you want to end it? And it's like somebody that you've been working with or working things out with. And I'm seeing you've been very, very patient within this. Two of Swords feels like maybe it's time now to make this decision or get things moving or know that it's leading up to that point where you need to figure out like, are we closing this chapter or not? Because I'm not Ten of Swords connected with the Two of Swords. It's not feeling like things have necessarily ended yet. It feels like you have the choice. So like, are we ending it or are we not ending it? And then I'm seeing the star and I'm seeing the Ten of Cups. So this is your guides saying, be hopeful, be optimistic when you make this choice and think about at the end of the day, what's actually gonna make you happy to do. Like what on the inside is gonna be fulfilling, not on the outside. We have star and we have Ten of Cups. This is like inside, inside, energetically, what's gonna bring you happiness. Don't focus on the other stuff right now. When you make this decision, you have to ask yourself emotionally what you need and energetically what you need. And that's how you're being guided to make this choice. Some of you, you're feeling almost like not allowing yourself to do this because you're experiencing a lot of anxiety sort of about what's to come. You can spend time, more time thinking about this if you want. I do keep seeing the chariot. Some of you guys are gonna be like moving in some way. Maybe I'm seeing 10 of pentacles, family can be playing into this. I'm also seeing three of cups, friends can be playing into this. Okay, we're gonna end the reading here. I'm looking at Taurus, Moon, I'm hearing Capricorn very strongly, Uranus, Sagittarius, Aquarius. Okay, guys, I want to thank everybody for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.